So uh, I can start explaining how Astro Tracer works. Um, Pentax cameras with Astro Tracer feature can track the stars. Yes, it sounds weird, but that sensor moves in the camera and tracks the sky. That's why the foreground is blurry in this picture. And I can show you another example that us with the Astro Tracer is off so in this one Astro Tracer is off as you can see the foreground is pretty clear but the stars are moving now we can look up the, um, the main purpose of this video uh, my deep sky photography Let's start with Orion Nebula. This one is a 30 seconds long exposure. As you can see, there's no star trails at 135 millimeter focal length. And this one, exact same settings, but Astro Tracer is off. That's why you have star trails. The long exposure is extremely important for deep sky photography because uh, it's not visible to naked eye and these dimmer objects you need long exposure to gather all the light into your sensor to create a single image but even though single images long exposure single images can sometimes they're not enough so we have to stack them by the way this is another example of the movement of the sensor so it's not a gimmick it's a real it's real it's moving the sensor with the exact same speed uh, but the counter direction of earth's rotation it's crazy i have i i got andromeda with the same settings 30 seconds long exposure with astro tracer is on what i'm going to do is because uh, they're single the, those single images are not enough by itself there are some imperfections in those images like noise atmospheric uh, changes this app basically does stacks all the images you took bring them together chooses the best pixels out of it and creates a giant tiff file that you can easily adjust the colors however you like um, this stacking process can take some time I will fast forward it and I'm not gonna go into details but it's pretty straightforward honestly uh, you will figure it out um, after a little wait I will have that giant 32-bit file automatically saved here we go automatically save into the same folder that I have my pictures in this is the preview you can close this uh, app program whatever you call um, it's already saved as autosave in the same folder now I'm going to do is I will open it up with Photoshop the first thing I will do is switching from 32-bit to 16-bit because it's just too much and it's going to slow down your computer. It's not necessary, honestly. And I will crop it a little uh, with crop tool. You don't see on the left here, but uh, there's another nebula on the left side called flame. It's really dim right now. It's a little fuzzy patch. But I will bring the bring that up by using saturation and uh, level adjusting after cho choosing my uh, composition I cropped it now I will go to uh, levels and I will do this process multiple times um, as you can see that white part is the light data here you can see on the left the flame and flame nibble and horsehead nibble a little bit um, I will do it again the levels 
uh, this light data in and in the, in the middle the white part is the light data and I'm just trying to stretch it slowly without clipping any data and every time I do this stretching that light information you the details start popping up as you can see in the image this part it can be boring but it's really important to know the basic of uh, level adjusting level stretching whatever you call um, I think I'm done with level stretching now I will basically just play with colors and the details oh I forgot to mention um, I will just use the curves this is another tool to get more data from that light information it, you can clearly see everything actually I, I just need to the uh, the core of the Orion in this one is really bright I just want to reduce that one a little bit it looks noisy I will use noise reduction let's see how it goes When I bump up the saturation, you can see the red tones, how improved those red tones on the left nebula and the right nebula. Um, Orion, flame and horse head nebula. These settings, by the way, I am just uh, going randomly because every image is different. There's no certain rules or certain levels of adjustment for every image. Every image is different. So, but to be able to understand the basics, what I do, you can use those settings. Yes. Yeah. Um, little noise reduction, little saturation and, um, uh, it looks nice, little green to me, but um, here we go. Maybe I can fix that green, greenish thing by playing with those. But that's better. It's still green. Um, let's see what we can do with this green cast okay go cool. i will go to stretch stretches um levels again um that that kind of fixed the problem actually yeah that's basically it i mean imagine i you only use four pictures imagine taking up hundred pictures of the same frame same image you would have impressive results this is coming out from only four stacked image 30 seconds long and i will save it at the end you can save it as tiff jpeg png whatever you like and that's basically it it's i know it look it looks complex but when you do it once it's really not a complex thing and thank you for watching.